In this problem, we are going to reflect this line segment over this line. To do so, we need to make two perpendicular lines that go through these two points that it's perpendicular to this ver uh, ve ve vector line. In order to do so, I am going to open up my compass to the vector line from one endpoint, and I'm going to open it wide enough so that it hits the vector line two times. Once it hits the vector line two times here, I'm going to place my compass point at both intersections, open it up so that it goes beyond the point, and make an X on top. I'm going to do the same thing for the other point. From that end point, make it hit the vector line two times. Where it hits those two times, I'm going to turn my paper and go above that point so that it makes an X. From both lines, I'm sorry, from both X's, I am going to make it go through the point and it forms one perpendicular line here and a second perpendicular line there. Notice that I'm drawing these lines long enough so that I can reflect this point to the other side and that point to the other side as well. To find out how far this endpoint is from that is from that vector line, I will just use my compass to find the distance there and flip it around and mark the line on the other side. Same thing for the second point. From my vector line, mark how far it is using my compass, flip it to the other side, and mark it there. Therefore, if these two points are called A and B, for line segment AB, down here will be A prime and B prime. And connecting A prime with B prime will be my new line segment that has been reflected.